Hi everybody, I'm Stage Tech Marine. Welcome to the next video in my casino series. Today we're going to learn how to play Let It Ride. Let It Ride is very easy to learn, but it's classified as a carnival game, so if you're a professional gambler or you're trying to make all your income from gambling, you're not going to want to play this game. But if you're a visitor to Las Vegas for a holiday or a weekend, give it a shot. It's a lot of fun. It's a poker category game in which you're trying to make the best five card poker hand that you can with the cards that are on the table. You're not playing against any of the other players and you're not playing against the dealer. So a lot less stress in this game is just the luck of the draw. So let's go down to the table and see how the game works. So what you're trying to do in Let It Ride is to have a five card poker hand containing a pair of tens or higher. Now how does that work? Well, if it's just you playing and we're at a five dollar table, what you would do is you would take your five dollars and you would put five dollars on the bet circle, five dollars on the two circle, five dollars on the one circle. Now, keeping in mind this layout is going to look a lot different than the one that you actually see in Vegas nowadays. This is a very old layout. You can see the pay table right here listed for each player. Tables nowadays usually have it listed about three spaces around the table, but you can find it. It's there. And then you can ask the dealer, no problem. So I said before, a five card poker hand. So what happens is the, d the player, whoever's betting, will get three cards and the dealer will get two cards. So what you do is this is a closed hand game. You're not supposed to share information with other players. You're going to open up your hand and here's what you've got. Well, here you've got a pair of eights. So what's going to happen is you're going to use your three cards in addition to the dealer's two cards to create your five card poker hand. In this example, you really don't have anything here. You don't have a pair of tens or better. You don't know what these are yet. So at this point, if you were to take your cards and you were to scrape them towards yourself, the dealer will push back your first bet. You can take this back. That's done. It's up there, but you can take it back. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can let it ride and leave it up there. If at any time you're going to stay in with your cards, you're going to tuck your cards under your first bet here. In this example, with a pair of eights, you're not going to want to stay in. So you're going to scrape the cards toward you. The dealer will push the bet back. You can take it. And then the dealer will reveal the first card, a 10. That's fantastic. Now, the four cards together, your three plus this dealer's 10, together you have two pair. Two pair pays two to one. That's great. So you're going to want to let it ride and stay in. So you're going to tuck your cards. The dealer's going to go around. And then they're going to flip this card here. Seven. Okay, so now they're going to reveal, just like in all the other casino games, they're going to go left to right and reveal everybody. And they're going to see what you've got. You've got eights and tens in a five card poker hand. So you have just won two to one on your bet. And that's how you play Let It Ride. Very simple. Now that you won your first hand and you're hooked on playing Let It Ride, let's play another hand. You're going to take your $5 bet out. You're going to put on the bet, on the two, on the one. And you're going to get your three cards. And the dealer is going to get two. And you're going to look at your cards. What do you have here? Well, gee, nothing. So you're going to want to take your bet back. The dealer will push it towards you. The dealer will now reveal the first card. There's a queen. Well, gee whiz, you know, I, I still have nothing. So I'm going to take back the second bet. And then you have to keep this last bet in play. So you just tuck your cards. And the dealer will reveal queen six. You have nothing, so you lose this bet. And that's a losing play. Let's talk about the bonus bet. On this table, where this little cutout is, as I said before, this is where the little red light is. You could take a dollar, put it on there, and then you'll be in. The lights will light up, the dealer will take the dollar, but for our purposes, we'll leave it here because I don't have a light. So now you're in on the bonus bet, and the bonus bet payouts are right here. You must have 
a three of a kind to get paid on the bonus bet. Okay? So you put your dollar down there and you play the game. And you'll get your three cards and the dealer will get two. And the deck does get shuffled each game, by the way. So you have a completely brand new deck each time. Let's see what you got here. A jack, an eight, and a four. Well, nothing. So you're gonna scrape your cards and you're gonna get a bet back and the dealer's gonna reveal a six. Well, I still don't have anything. So I'm gonna scrape my cards. 10, jack, eight, four, six, nothing. So you lose here and you lose here. Now that you know how to play Let It Ride, let's play a few hands and we'll see how we do. And you're not always guaranteed to win. It is a carnival game. So it goes, it's just, it's luck. It's luck. If you get dealt a pair of two or, I'm sorry, if you get dealt a pair of tens or better in your hand, we call that a no-brainer. You look at it, you go, sweet, boom, tuck your cards, you know you're going to win. But it can be quite challenging. But I'll tell you, though, if you win, the, the most I've had is a uh, four of a kind. And that was a really nice payout. So it's, it's fun to play. I go down with $100. And uh, even though you put 15 up here, and these have to be equal amounts, by the way, even though you put 15 up here, you're really only betting five. So you get a nice little payout, and you'll go up and down. It's, it's fun. It's good. Give it a shot. You'll like it. All right, here we go. All right, what do we got? You've got a king, a queen, and a jack. Well, what would we need to make a straight? We need an ace and a 10, or a 10 and a 9. But right now you've got nothing. You don't even have a pair. So I'm going to scrape, get my bet back, and look. I still have nothing. So I'm going to scrape, get the bet back, tuck the cards. Ten. Yay. That does nothing for us. All together. So lose, lose. Next hand. Okay. Here's hand number two see how we do and we have a six seven and nine nothing we're gonna scrape take a bet back see what the dealers got a pair of sixes but that's not tens or higher so I still don't have anything so I'm gonna scrape get a bet back five five six six seven nine nothing you lose all right here's our third hand Got our bets, got our bonus. And we have ace four ten. Nothing. We're gonna scrape. We're gonna get our bet back. Dealer's gonna reveal three. Still nothing. We're gonna scrape. Get the bet back. Nine. Nothing. These bets lose. Okay, here's our fourth hand. Have our bets. Three cards. Dealer gets two. What do we have? A pair of kings. A pair of kings is a pair of tens or better. So we're good. So we're gonna, we, that's called a no brainer. We're gonna just tuck it underneath our bet and the dealer's gonna reveal. And then the, no action, so the dealer's gonna reveal again. Let's see here. Your bonus bet with a pair of tens or better pays nothing. You lost there. But a pair of tens or higher is one to one. So there, you just won that. So it's 15 bucks. You just doubled your money on a no brainer. Okay, here's our fifth hand. And what do we get? A pair of sixes. A pair of sixes is not tens or better. So I'm going to scrape, get my bet back. Four, four doesn't help. I'm gonna scrape, get the bet back. Nine, reveal, nothing. That's a loser. Hand number six. I just cashed in five more dollars to get more one dollar bonus bets. So here we go. Queen, ace, and six, nothing. So we're gonna scrape our bet back. Reveal this card, 10, 10 doesn't help me. We're gonna get our bet back, tuck our cards. Ace, didn't we have any? I immediately forget once I put my cards face down. 
every time. Bam! Ace. Well, pair of aces. Ten or better does not win on the bonus, but the ten or better does win one to one on the pair of aces. So that's good. Hand number seven. Three cards, two cards. Here we go. Here's the big reveal. Ten, queen, six. Nothing. We're going to scrape, get our bet back. King. Nothing still. We're going to scrape, get our bet back. Tuck the cards. Queen. Now that the game is over, pair of queens. Well, one pair of tens or higher does not win on the bonus, but it does win one to one on your bet. So you just won five bucks. Hand number eight. Three cards. Two for the dealer. Here we go. Ace, nine, ten. Nothing. Scrape the cards, get your bet back. Dealer reveals the first one. Still doesn't help. We're gonna scrape, get our second bet back. Now we're committed. And see what we got. Nope, nothing. So we lose both of those. Hand number nine. Okay, here we go. Hey, pair of aces. Pair of aces is tens or better. So we're gonna tuck it right away. So we know we're gonna win. And we go around the table, service all the other players. You're good, so we flip. You're still good, flip again. Reveal. Pair of aces. Well, tens or better does not win on the bonus, but it does win one to one for your pair of aces. So $15. Here's our 10th hand. Okay. Jack two and an eight, nothing. Scrape our cards, get our bet back. Five, that doesn't help. Scrape our cards, get a bet back. Tuck, so we're committed now. Eight. We're going to reveal a pair of eights is not tens or better, so these lose. All right, if you're still with me at this point, this is hand number 11. I plan on playing 18 hands because that's how the most you can do with $100 without winning if you don't play the bonus. Okay, so here we go. Hand number 11. See what we got. King eight four, no good. Scrape, take a bet back. The dealer reveals a four. Well, there's a pair of fours. So let's get crazy this time. Let's, just for the sake of learning, let's pretend that you're hoping for, you're hoping for number, another four. You're hoping for a king. So you wanna let it ride. You wanna say, you know what? I'm gonna go for it. Tuck your cards right here. That bet will stay and then we'll reveal. I did not set that up, I swear to you. I've been shuffling in between each. So here we go. Two pair pays nothing on the bonus. You need at least three of a kind. And then two pair pays two to one on your bets. That's what's known as let it ride. I swear to you, I did not set that up. Uh, but that's, that's something that could happen if you're feeling lucky. Just let it ride and hopefully you'll get what you need. So there you go. Here's hand number 12. Let's see what we get. A pair of fours. Okay, so thinking more, not strategically, but luck, luck wise, in order to get paid here, you would need an eight to get two pair or a four to get three of a kind. So if you choose at this point, you can say, you know what? Let's let it ride and, and hope for a four or an eight. Okay, we well, didn't get a four or an eight. If you chicken out at this point, and that's fine, if you were to scrape your cards, you get this one back. Not this one. You let it ride during that bet. So now we're committed. We look, oh, look at that. That's cool. 
didn't plan that one either. Been shuffling each time. Well, two pair doesn't pay on the bonus, but two pair does pay on two pair. Two to one. So there's a winner. And number 13. All right. Okay, now, king, jack, and four of spades. This is a flush so far. Uh, but of course, to get paid, you have to have all five cards as the flush. So I'm going to hope for some spades there. So I'm going to tuck. Nope, not a spade. However, I just paired my jack. So I know I'm going to get tens or better with the jacks. So I'm going to tuck that, let it ride. Three comes up. So a pair of jacks does not win on the bonus, but a pair of jacks will win one to one as tens are better. So there's that one. Hand number 14. There we go. Let's see what we get. Okay, back to garbage again. So we're gonna scrape our cards, get our bet back. Dealer's gonna reveal, queen. That doesn't help us. We're gonna scrape our cards, get our bet back, and now we have to tuck. Reveal the last card, queens. Bam. Well, that's a pair of queens. Bonus bet loses, but you get one to one on, on your bet. This is awesome when that happens, especially when you start with that. Hand number 15. There we go. All right. Well, I need two and a five to make a straight. I could pair the ace, but that's not that strong. So I'm going to scrape, get my bet back. Do you going to reveal? Okay. Ace, two, three, four. At this point, we can not have any nerve and pull $5 back, or we can tuck it and hope to get a five. I'm going to go for the five because I'm up right now. I know you can't tell the height of the stack here, but we're, 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 we started with $100 and we're above that now. So we're going to let it ride and hope for that five. Here we go. Nope. But it was an ace. Well, yeah, pair of aces loses here, but one pair pays one to one there. So we still won. Okay, this is hand number 16, unless I've lost count. Here we go. And what do we get? A pair of fours. Well, that doesn't win. We can hope to get a four here and get three of a kind, or we can hope to get a queen and get two pair. So just for fun, since I'm up, I'm gonna let it ride. Put that under there. Jack. Okay, so now we're gonna reevaluate. Let's see. Well, a four would give us three of a kind, a queen would give us a two pair, and a jack would give us two pair. So now if you think about it, I mean, this is all luck, of course, but how many cards are left in the deck that help us? There's two fours, there's two fours, right? There's three queens and three jacks. So out of this entire deck, there's eight cards that would help us win. Now, is that enough for you to wager the whole 15, or do you want to pull back your second bet? Just for fun, I'm going to go for it. Here we go. Nope, didn't get it. So fours is not high enough, the bonus loses, and we lose on all these bets. Every now and again you do that, especially if I'm up, just, it's fun, because it's, it's nice if you start getting those multiplied payouts. Hand number 17. All right. Eight, four, seven, nah, nothing. I'm gonna scrape, get my bet back, a five. Well, I would need a six to get a straight. And there's four sixes in the deck. Not enough for me to wager $5 on. So I'm gonna scrape, get my second bet back, tuck the cards, three. Not any good. I needed the six. So a bonus bet loses, and a regular bet loses. And number 18. Eight, 
Ace, three, five, not very strong. I'm gonna scrape the cards, get my bet back. <laughs> okay, so I need a four to get a straight to win. Uh, I'm not feeling it because it just hasn't been happening. Go with your gut, whatever you feel. I'm gonna scrape, get my bet back, hoping for that four. Nope. Pair of threes is not tens or better. Bonus loses and this bet loses. Hand number 19. Ooh, okay. So a flush possibility here. Ace, king, and six of clubs. Well, not only am I looking for clubs, but I'm also looking for an ace or a king. And because I'm up and I still got some money left, I'm, okay, I'm going to let it ride. There's a four. Well, reevaluate now. King a6. See, now I'm just hoping for a, a, a king or an ace at this point. So I'm going to scrape, get my, my bet back, tuck the cards. Seven. Game over. Nothing. Bonus bet loses. These two bets lose. I let it ride for one. Didn't get what I needed. Next hand. This is hand number 20. This will be the last hand that we do, starting with our original $100 and doing a $1 bonus bet each time. Here we go. Sometimes what I do on my last hand if I'm up is I'll play it blind. I won't even look at it and I'll just let it happen. Not gonna do that here. <laughs> so okay, what have I got here? Pair of nines. Well, pair of nines is not tens or better. So that's, what, that's a losing hand, but what do I need? I need a nine to make three of a kind or an eight to make two pair. See, there's two nines in the deck, and there's three eights. Or I can pair face cards here. If there's two tens, two jacks, two queens, kings, aces, then I win. So, uh, well, it is the last one, like I said. Let's go for it. Nines and eights, huh? All right, let's let it ride. Six. Not what I need. Let it ride again. I needed nine or an eight. Ah, nothing. A pair of nines is not pair of tens or better. Bonus loses. I lose all three. I was playing aggressively there and that's done. Okay, so I started with $100 and I played uh, foolishly and aggressive there at the end. This feels like 100. Oh, boy, this is messy. There's the original 100. So after betting the $1 bonus the entire time, all 20 uh, hands and not winning any of the bonuses, right? But winning a little here and losing a little there and playing for, I don't know how long that was, you didn't have to sit through me shuffling the cards, but trust me, I did. After all that, you're $25 ahead. Not always guaranteed, but that could happen. Uh, the reason I played, I was originally gonna play 18 hands, the reason I played 20 is because I had money to keep going. But with 18 hands, you can play with $100. Uh, on hand number uh, 18, of course, if you keep losing, 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 this is what hand 18, once you get to hand number 19, you won't have the $5 off that original 100 to play this, which you need to play, it's required. So that's how that works. I really hope you enjoyed this instructional funness on uh, how to play Let It Ride. It's, it's one of the games my wife and I go to. It's very social. It's fun with a lot of players. Uh, craps, I gotta concentrate. Uh, I, my craps video has been very successful for me and it's all because of your support. I really appreciate that. I really had a lot of fun doing it. And I still play craps when I go, but I'm so focused on what I'm doing on craps that I can't socialize with anybody. This game, you can sit there and talk with your neighbors and I was just in Vegas uh, about a month and a half ago. Not even a month and a half ago. How about three weeks ago? <laughs> and uh, I sat with some uh, people that lived about 60 miles from where I live. And we were just chatting it up. We played for about an hour, hour and a half. It was just fun. Very social. Nice people. Anyway, give it a try. Thank you for watching. And best of luck to you next time when you go to Vegas.